Oh, Superman, you colossal wang. So here's the thing with Supes. He's supposed to be this giant boy scout. And for the most part, he is. And that's why so many people see him as really boring. He's just a good dude all the time. Well, turns out, nope. The Kryptonian big lad has been around for nearly 80 years. And that's a bugger load of Superman stories that have to be told. Consequently, to shift units, some of the stories got a bit mental. In the 50s, 60s, and 70s, especially when writers apparently didn't give a shit, are crammed full of stories which Superman is just the world's finest asshole. Got to give credit to superdickery.com, without which we may never have found this treasure trove. I'm Plumpy from whatculture.com, and here are 10 moments Superman was a real jerk. Number 10, repeatedly mistreating Jimmy Olsen. Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen was a comic book series that ran for 20 years and over 150 issues, despite being about wet lunch Jimmy Olsen, who I'm strongly of the opinion can off. For the most part, Superman agreed and spent much of those 20 years tormenting the balls clean off this supposed friend of his. He made him go through all sorts of weird indignities such as making Jimmy live in a slum for no reason other than we're friends and so go to hell, adopting him as his son then burning his father's day present in front of him. Superman flew around the city with Jimmy Olsen on a dog leash which come on Jimmy have some goddamn pride. He had him locked up in a prison a whole bunch of times, once or twice in an insane asylum and in a famous issue stood by and forced him to marry an ape. Christ. Number nine, repeatedly taking over the earth. So Lex Luthor's whole thing, other than being just furious that he's bald, is that Superman is a dangerous alien whose motives we cannot comprehend who could subjugate the world whenever he wanted. Turns out Lex had a fair enough point because Superman has done that very thing and has done it loads. In an alternate story called Superman Batman Absolute Power, him and Batman become dictators of the world because they were raised by bad parents and they kill loads of heroes and are genuinely terrible. Thing is, even in official continuity, Superman's been partial to the odd glow takeover. He once declared himself something that looks like Pope King of Earth, replete with silly hat and a big Superman flag. But basically, yeah, Lex for president. Number eight, repeatedly beating up his friends. So on occasion, Superman has taken turns battering all of his mates. Batman, Aquaman, Batman, The Flash, Batman. But it turns out he really likes, to the point of it being genuinely uncomfortable, smacking Wonder Woman around. Most of the time, Superman's under some sort of mind control or he's gone kryptonite mental, but he just breaks her wrist, he strangles her with her own lasso, not, not to mention that infamous panel of him just straight up punching her in the back of the head with the word clud. You, sir, are Captain Dickhead. Number seven, repeatedly revealing his friend's secret identities. That is crossing the line, Superman. We're talking a major superhero faux pas. You just don't do it. Despite that, Superman once tweeted the whole world that Batman is Bruce Wayne. That is a nuclear dick move. And that's not even mentioning the time that he accidentally called Batman Bruce in front of the f***ing Joker. That's his arch nemesis, you tool. Oh, I'm sorry, slip of the tongue, was it? You are Superman. Just because you don't understand how no one recognizes you without your glasses on. Number six, the racism. I'm sorry about this language, but Superman says you can slap a Jap. It's infamous. The image of not only that racial poster, but also Supes working tirelessly to print reams of the stuff to really get that racist message out there. What's the S stand for? Slap a Jap. But hey, I mean, you're a goddamn refugee too, mate, just because you're lucky enough to be born a white alien. Oh, and just in case you think that stuff is limited to wartime, there was that one time that Superman flew backwards in time to trick Native Americans into selling their land to the white man. I'm not kidding, that actually happened. Number five, making Robin pedal. This is the front cover of World's Finest, issue number 54. They're both stronger than him, but Batman and Superman are making Robin pedal. Ha! <laughs> you tin pot dicks. Number four, Superboy tries to murder children. Look, we're none of us our best selves when we're teenagers and never is that more true than the case of Superboy. He's done some bad stuff in his time, organizing a mass prison break of dangerous convicts, putting his own parents in prison. None of that, however, compares to Superboy issue 190, where, well, this is the cover. That is Superboy trying his very best to drown teenagers en masse. It must be difficult being Superboy. After all, you're handsome, you can fly. It's enough to make anyone furious enough to murder literally hundreds of kids. Number three, making a porno with another man's wife. So again, this is Superman using the whole, oh, I was brainwashed trick, but we've all heard that excuse before, am I right, ladies? So Action Comics 592, and Superman is tricked by an evil so-and-so into shooting one of your dad's special films with Big Barda, one of the new gods and the wife of Mr. Miracle. And hey look, the comic was nice enough to pinpoint the exact moment that Mr. Miracle sees Superman slip a length to his missus. Once the cough mind control wears off, Superman and Big Barda aren't really sure of the experience they've shared, so they decide, with Mr. Miracle literally there in the background of the same panel, they're just like, ah, 
it's probably fine. Number two, emotionally destroying Lois Lane. Well, we've seen how Superman treats his best pal Jimmy Olsen, so Color is not at all surprised to find out that one of Kal-El's very favorite things is to visit as much emotional torment on Lois as humanly possible. He's a knobber. He's done all sorts of wicked things to the lady whose only crime was just wanting to marry him. He's forced her to marry other men against her will. He's ostentatiously gone out on a date with Lana Lang while Lois Lane had been turned into an old woman. He keeps big signed portraits of all of his ex-girlfriends in a safe in his house while dating Lois like a complete psychopath. And my personal favorite, blindfolding her and pretending to be a blackmailer, forcing her to hand over her life savings so that Superman will never find out an awful secret, taking her money and tricking her into telling the secret anyway, and he knows it because he's Superman. But still, even all of that is somehow better than number one, repeatedly trying to kill Lois Lane. Superman has tried to murder Lois Lane on just so many occasions that it just stops being funny. He's had her sent to the death house for a crime she didn't commit. He took her up to space to try and murder her by severing her oxygen supply. He sat by and laughed as Wonder Woman beat the living shit out of her. And if that's not enough, check out this cover of Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, where he's shouting, yes, Lana, it's true, I killed Lois Lane. And look, look at his face. He doesn't seem in the least bit regretful about that. If anything, he's making it very clear that if she doesn't watch out, Lana is next. Superman, the world's greatest hope, the universe's biggest jerk. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Tell us about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Plumpy from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon.